Hi, welcome to theCUBE. I'm your host, Lisa Martin. And tonight we are on the ground at Google with CloudNow, which is a nonprofit organization founded by females, supporting female leaders in cloud computing and uh, the STEM studies, as well as converging technologies. Tonight we're here because CloudNow is celebrating their fifth uh, annual uh, top Women in Cloud Innovation Awards, and we're very fortunate to be joined by award winner Mary stencil -Poor. Mary, welcome to the program. Thank you, Lisa. And Mary, you are the Senior Associate Dean for Research at the School of Medicine for Oregon Health and Science University. That's right. Congratulations on your award. Talk to us about the project that you're leading as a researcher that's garnered you this really nice accolade for which we're here tonight. Well, thank you, Lisa. It actually, I'm um, the liaison for this relationship that we have between Oregon Health Sciences University and Intel. Uh, okay. It's really an inspiring collaboration between biomedical researchers, clinicians, and Intel engineers to help solve the problem in precision medicine, which is all about the ability to share data widely but securely, maintain patient privacy, and control data. OHSU and Intel set out to collaborate on that. OHSU as the generator of that kind of data about people and their cancer, and Intel as you know, an amazing computing company, we worked together to solve what has been an intractable problem. My role? My role in this has been to enable collaboration in order to innovate, and uh, OHSU and Intel took the opportunity to say, we aren't going to do business as we usually do. We are going to remove barriers to, to collaboration. We are not going to worry about who owns what. We are going to take on the most difficult problem, cancer and provide a solution, and that's what we've done. We have created something called the Collaborative, Collaborative Cancer Cloud, or CCC. The Collaborative Cancer Cloud? Yes. Wow. Yeah, so I believe that we have a solution that will allow institutions across the world to share data securely, maintain patient privacy, and control the data at the institution site which wow. will really allow us to come up with the most important treatments for patients with cancer. Because you know, cancer is a completely unique disease in each person. And if we can really can compare the data from one patient to millions of patient samples, we can come up with what's the best treatment for that patient. Wow, that's so, so needed. You mentioned um, the collaboration. How, how long have uh, has, I want to make sure I get this, OHSU and Intel Very been good. collaborating on the, the CCC? Well, on the CCC itself, two, two years, okay. maybe a little bit longer, but we've been working together actually for decades, and then we decided to take on this particular problem, and that accelerated it. We said, we're going to solve this, and we're going to solve it together. And I think my role in this, I believe in this kind of partnership, I believe actually that uh, academic institutions and industries must partner in order to solve these hard problems. And it change, you have to change the culture. We're motivated differently. Yes. We have different cultures and we have different values. We had to say those can't be barriers for us anymore. And I believe actually this is an example of creating a solution that has very, been very difficult to get to. And it's because there is this will on the side of Intel and the will on the side of OHSU to make this happen. We have an amazing team on both sides. They work together, they fight together, they solve problems together, and it's a pretty healthy dynamic. That's good. You mentioned the term corporate culture, and that's something that, as we look at women in technology, the yes. statistics are what they are, um, but this is an example, this, this awards, this CloudNow organization, what we've been doing on theCUBE for years to honor females in tech, Anita Borg, all these other organizations that are really helping to amplify and promote these female leaders. Um, one of the challenges that a lot of corporations yeah. have, and I imagine universities to some degrees, is that corporate cultures are a certain way and changing them, or cultures, is challenging. How, 
Give us some of the, of the insight that you saw Intel and the university coming together going, we have to remove these barriers, we have to collaborate. What were some of the things that, or people maybe, that you think were instrumental in truly facilitating collaboration for the sake of saving lives in the future, which is yeah. phenomenal. Again, Lisa, that's an important question. I think you're asking, uh, so who did this? How did that happen? Because at the end of the day, it is about people and it's about individuals. Um, I would say that I became very interested in it and I had a strong supporter who would back me on making these decisions. And um, I, I am a dean for research, but I worked for the dean of the medical school who is an enormous supporter of women, women in science, women leaders, and in me having a voice in how our institution would change and what impact I could have as a leader. So I would say that was a, a, a tremendous vote of confidence. It gave me great um, ability to go out and do what I thought would be the best thing for the institution. And that's the piece I think for women in science they need. I think women in science are great in science and what they need is support and they need to be recognized, their voice needs to be heard. Uh, at OHSU, we have many women in leadership positions. It's unusually, Fantastic. it's unusually so, it's fabulous. And we have a senior women's leadership group of all women who have decided to take on what's the culture change we need to do to make sure not only are women in these positions, but that they are successful, that they are evaluated in a way that is favorable for them as leaders, and that the constituents that they lead see them as leaders. That's, that's an important thing. Absolutely. And I, I believe that women and men work together best if they're equal and if they can innovate together. So again, it comes back to collaborating, but we, men and women in science, must be recognized as equal contributors. Their voices must be heard. Absolutely. Great message, very inspiring message. Clearly, you've had this foundation of support that's helped even probably propel that confidence that you had going, I'm so passionate about this, I can do this. Yeah. And I agree that that spirit of collaboration shouldn't matter on some of these things. Mary, thank you so much for joining us on theCUBE. You're now a CUBE alumna, and we want to again congratulate you thank on you. your award. Looking thank forward you. to seeing lots of great things come from the CCC. Terrific, great to be here. And if you have a female that you think would be a fantastic uh, addition to our uh, CUBE shows, please tweet us at theCUBE with the hashtag WomenInTech. Again, I'm Lisa Martin. You've been watching theCUBE, and we'll just see you next time.